right? Okay, right? So the, the, the main thing here is I think you were thinking like, oh, I can just memorize it, right? And then, oh, and then I can just get the solution out. But the thing here is in probability, there's a lot of distribution, right? So I just change the distribution and you are basically not dead, but dying <laughs> already, right? So the key point here is you have to practice, right? That's why I, I give you a lot of tutorial, tutorial questions. You know, even the prior tutorial four, right? I give you a lot of distribution for you to practice, to try and see the distribution. And I think the point here when you are given this sort of question is you cannot you cannot match the distribution with the 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 kernel with the distribution. Could not 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 all of you lah. I mean, some of you cannot do that. Even cannot even do that. There's a basic thing, right? When you do Bayesian, is to match the kernel with the distribution. Okay, so you cannot escape that. And I'm thinking like in all the questions, maybe we, because we have four questions later. <clears throat> like that's the basic thing that you probably you have to do it for all the questions. That's the thing that you have to do because you have to recognize this distribution, right? So if you cannot, so such a kind of clear, right? So if you cannot even recognize the kernel, then you're in trouble, right? Already, <laughs> okay? And when you say find the find the possible distribution, it means that you have to give me the name of the distribution and the parameter. I, I already told you that. Right, so if you don't give me that, you, you will lose a mark. Right, if for example, if you have three marks, maybe you will get two and a half marks. If it's, I'm being generous, right? So if I'm not generous, I may give you two marks. I don't know, right? Depending how much you do like, inside the question, right? So find me, you have to identify, find the kernel, find and identify the distribution. Okay, that's the basic things, lah. Okay, and I think for, uh, that's A, right? So B, of course, that's why they yeah, are copy. I mean, can you just copy properly from the notes? <laughs> right? So anyway, for B2, right, I think uh, quite a lot of you give me the approximate using the normal, which is wrong, right? Because if we know this distribution, we don't need a normal approximation. And if I want to a normal approximation, I will tell you in the question. Give me an approximate normal or approximate uh, interval, blah, 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 right? approximately, right? Because the one normal is an approximate. It's not the true one. So if you know the distribution, what happens is you have to use the posterior, find the um, find the percentile, right? The alpha over two percentile thingy. Uh, so it's, it's basically alpha over two on the left, y one alpha over two on the right, which is also covered in the lecture. Right, so basically you have to find the, you have to, no, you have to find the, 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 I think it's alpha and one minus alpha, right, over, over, over two and one minus alpha over two, which is the left and right side from the posterior. So if you just give me the, the sentence, the percentile, alpha minus two, 100 percentile, there's only mark there, right? <laughs> But if you give me like <clears throat> normal approximation, zero. Okay, so that's because the one is the approximate distribution. Okay, so you know, right? And of course, for number three, it's also in the lecture notes, meaning that you know, because of the it should be a uni model and and symmetric, right? If the x uni model is symmetric, then we have the same HDR as the credible as the credible interval. Okay, but in this case, because gamma is usually not symmetric, it's in the model, but it's not symmetric. Right. And but under circumstances special case, maybe symmetric, but uh generally not symmetric. So we don't expect it to be expected. That's why I say the question is expected. So we don't expect it to be the same. Okay. Uh, so no, that's why it's only like four marks because like why one two marks, okay? And for C, this is a, like similar to what the for tutorial, but it's slightly different. It's it's even for gamma, right? So basically, you have to find is the inverse gamma. So I think it's probably also one is your trans transformation skill, finding the uh the delta thing, right? Uh, 
Itu pun, that one is also the basic part, right? And you know, you, you, I want to think once somebody forgot, they have to put a modulus part, it should be positive. So if you can be negative, then we come with negative density. So we can be weird, <laughs> right? Because the whole thing can be weird because your, your PDF should be positive, right? So if you have a negative density, there's something wrong there, okay? So I think uh, all these are actually by practice. You should try it and, you know, uh, at least get the basic right. And this is, I think, something you have seen in the lecture and the tutorial. Yes. So, getting your points, if like, you know that something is wrong, you know we're not supposed to have a negative. Yeah, I mean, negative. yeah. So, if you if you do something, for example, right, you, you give me the negative part, that is mark, right, because you, you multiply everything, that is mark, but of course, you won't get a lot of marks. Because even the basic, I mean, even if you, you put the delta thing here, the delta. I think it should be a uh, C, right? This thing, right? So if it's a little bit the way around, and I think like this, right? Should be modulus, right? Positive, lah, right? So even if you get this wrong, I mean, there is some mark, but uh, maybe like other four marks, you might get one, 1.5, <laughs> something like that, right? Because basically, because if you got the density wrong, you, you cannot actually, and then you have to find the prior first, Meaning that you have to find the prior, prior, prior transformation first, and then you have to find the posterior. I mean, according to the question, right? And then finding meaning you have to recognize that it's a inverse gamma distribution with the parameter lah, right? And I think also with this because inverse gamma, uh, some people also cannot recognize the parameter for the inverse gamma, right? It should be like alpha or something, right? Uh, so that is a, also a problem now. Okay, so this all can be helped if you done the tutorial yourself. You see my face yourself, right? Not copy it, uh, or at least if you copy it, please copy by your own hand. So at least you know, right? When you're writing, oh, then you see. But if you just copy for someone and then you save it and then, oh, I just look at it, look, look at you. Um, I guarantee you, you cannot answer the question in final. Because the final is similar to the test, where you, you, you've seen it, but actually the distribution. So it's not exactly the same. Okay, so if you don't know the technique, you haven't tried, you haven't done it by hand yourself, you will have problem, big, big problem. Which you can see from your, from your test, right? Okay. And for the question two, I think uh, the, the thing here is, I think most of you have problem with B, right? And of course, C is because you cannot integrate, right? But at least you know the formula. The problem is even the formula you don't give me, then how can I give you mark, right? I'm like struggling to give you mark. Okay, like where is can I give you mark? If you don't even give me the right equation, how can you give me any mark, right? So it's a uh, problem, okay? So like, you know, try to write something at least. And if you have the formula, so final exam is going to be open book also, right? But so please at least give me the please at least give me the correct formula, <laughs> so that I can give you some mark. Then if you don't give me the correct even the correct formula, then no hard to give you any marks. Okay, and then for for uh, okay, right? Let me okay. if I open the solution. Does it, does it show if I open the another thing or I have to? Okay, I don't know. I, I cannot see. It. I mean, can somebody open the Microsoft team? Can you actually see? Uh, no, it's not right. Can you actually see the 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 new PDF or no? Oh, can okay, 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 right, okay, right. So. With the with that, right? You know, so give the prior with uh, give the okay. And, and also the one thing is like the likelihood also, right? You have to multiply by n times. Right? I mean likelihood is the joint PDF from the joint PDF. Somebody even cannot give me the likelihood correctly, right? So that means like you're uh, basically toast toasted, right? <laughs> even if, if your likelihood is wrong, I'm like, how can I give you marks? Right, so likelihood is a join from the joint PDF, right? So you no, know, you have to give me the density, and then you have to give me the distribution with the parameter. 
Okay, that would be the, then you get full mark. You miss anything, marks is deducted. Okay, of course, for C is just that book work, right? So that's why I say, it's just like, give me the, you know, percentile, right? So it's like, and uh, yes? Yeah? Yeah, we, no, because somebody give me the the, the theta plus minus 1.96 can be error, this one. So this is not, okay, this is the approximate. This is a, an approximation only, not the true distribution. So if your distribution is normal, of course you can use this, right? But this one is the gamma distribution, right? Uh, that's what I meant, right? So you, uh, for... Two, then means that if you have to give it in ever approximate, then yes, you can use normal approximate, right? But here, because you already know the distribution, right? Then you are supposed to use the percentile from the posterior. Okay. So, uh, suppose that we want to find the uh, okay. No. Yes. Unless stated in the question. That's why I say that it's always given in the question. So if I want you to use the normal, I tell you. <laughs> if I don't say anything, this case use the original. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. That's true. Okay. Right. So, and then. Of course, this one is again is inverse gamma. So I think we have to recognize inverse gamma at this point, right? So give me the PDF. This one, okay. I, this one is killer, but this one also, you know, you have to differentiate, blah, blah, blah. And then likelihood. And then you find the distribution and then find the, uh, the one it's like no, not normal, like means the usual things you have seen before, lah, right? So if you've done the tutorial, at least you have a hint, but then. If you didn't do it yourself, I see again my, my see again my, my face, do it, don't do it yourself, but then you have problem lah. <laughs> okay, right. So for okay, question two, right, this is the density that you uh make my uh, wait, is there a message there? No, okay. I was always thinking I was afraid that you know there's something. Okay, <clears throat> so for for question two, right? Because okay, this is again I think the problem because you haven't seen it. How to get the likelihood multiplied by n, right? So you know if you even you cannot get the likelihood, basically your other questions will bye bye like the point with the mean, right? <laughs> okay. So likelihood means you have to multiply your PDF by n times because you have n data. Okay. Unless it's binomial, right? Binomial, there's only one data, but this one is, okay, okay the, the thing here is in the question, they will, they will ask, say, okay, the, you have to look at the question, right? Y1, 1 to N, right? Means that you have to find a joint likelihood, joint PDF, la, likelihood multiplied by N times. Okay, then, then you have to multiply. So I think the this part, first part, some of you, a few of you got wrong. Right, I think you got, got confused with like the gamma or something, right? And then you know when you change this, that's why I say you have to do it yourself because then you get it's similar to A, but then you can see parameters different, right? Because the likelihood is different. So you get a different parameter from A. It's still gamma but different parameters. Okay. And for question B, uh, this is yeah, you haven't seen, but Okay, there are two ways to do this. One is from question 1D, you should know that if lambda is gamma, one of the lambda is inverse gamma. Ah, then you can just use the inverse gamma result. Okay, or if you don't know how, you don't know that, then you have to integrate, right? And, and this is the biggest thing, like in format people is, uh, okay. Right. Uh, 
<laughs> right, the, the head of the thing, uh, okay. The expectation of is not equal to one over this, huh? It's not. So everyone who does this, let's click it wrong, huh? Okay. This will only apply if it's, it's a linear, linear, see, huh? linear function. Meaning linear function, maksudnya, two, two, if, two, uh, if you have expectation of 2x, then 2 times expectation of x. Uh, this is correct because it's linear function. It's a linear function, right? But if it's this one, then it's not, right? Or even, even okay, yeah, this one, right? This expectation of x squared is not equal to expectation of x squared, right? So any, any function which is not linear, you cannot apply it, take out yourself. <laughs> your susuka hati, right? Your yourself. Okay. So the expectation here, the wait, the. Uh, so um, the solution you simplify the gamma. You mean this one, the n one? Both, uh, both. Uh, because when I did my solution, I was thinking like, can I actually? Because I have the gamma of my. Numerator and gamma function, and denominator. So in this case, it seems like you just cancel it out. Like you consider the gamma to be like the factorial. Is that what you mean? Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah. So, so can you do that? Because like uh, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is not because I use gamma. This is because I use inverse gamma result. Yes. So if okay, if you use let me. Uh, oh, I didn't have it. Yeah. I guess the alpha is not in the alpha is not here in the Yes. So can I just cancel it out and add up like this or I cannot cancel it? Okay. Uh I guess if you don't if you leave it out, it's still okay. But if you cancel it out, I won't penalize you lah. Right. If you over <laughs> over <laughs> over extend, right? Okay, because I, I I know what you mean, right? Because for example, right, this solution rubber here, right? This one, right? The PDF, right? So for for me, I will leave it up, up to here because as you, as, you, as you say, alpha is not need to be integer, right? So you cannot actually you cannot actually uh, simplify it unless you know your alpha lah. For this, somebody actually simplify it, so I didn't penalize them lah. Okay, but you actually up to here you. Because yeah, alpha is not an integer. It doesn't have to be integer, right? So you don't need to uh, simplify it. Okay, anyway, going back to here. So this one, okay, so from here, this one is actually, I get if I were to uh, use directly from inverse gamma result. So the mean of inverse gamma is that, you know, and then the you have the station and the variance of inverse gamma. So you can actually get that uh, from inverse gamma. Right, if you and this is also like so hint from question one D, right? That you have gamma, what over lambda is inverse gamma, <laughs> right? So there's a hint over hint, right? So anyway, but but if you don't know how to do it, then you have to do it the the long way. The long way would be to integrate you know one over lambda and then multiply by the PDF of the gamma. Lah. Gamma, right, whatever. Lah. Then multiply, you know, we use the long way, lah. right? And you should get the same answer. Lah. Okay. And this is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, you should get the same answer. And, but this one is using the you know, inverse gamma uh, property. Okay. So either you use inverse gamma property or you have to integrate. Okay. Right. And, so the in here is yeah the expectation of one over lambda is not one over expectation of lambda. Okay, that's the most important part, right? That you have to remember. So please don't do that mistake again. <laughs> I didn't think that would be an issue, but it seems to be uh quite a bit quite a number lah. Yeah, that that, that 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 thing. Okay, so this one right. So for the predictive. A distribution, right? I mean, you know, if you uh, give me this equation already, I give you some mark, even like one maybe. But the problem is not even this. 
I mean, uh, okay, I know that you did it in the, and this is one question in the uh, lecture. And this is one question, there's also a few questions in the tutorial, right? right. So the thing here is, if, if you want to copy evolve, please adjust it to the question, right? Because if I'm using lambda, it's a, because your privacy is lambda, right? So it should be over lambda, right? So the, suddenly P la, tita la, what? I don't know la, <laughs> right? Copy, paste, right? copy, paste, exactly, uh, right? So anyway, for this question, right, we have the, so Z is, uh, Z is uh, exponential, right? And your lambda is uh, gamma, right? So this is why you need to know the distribution, not the kernel, because we need to put in all the, the full PDF, right? Not just the kernel, right? So this one you have to, it's a, Z is exponential and uh, the procedure is uh, gamma, so you have to put the gamma PDF, right, and the exponential PDF, right, and then here, um, meaning that here is, yeah, because I jumped the step, but this is actually a gamma PDF, but with a different parameter, right, it's n plus alpha plus one, and the sum of yi plus beta plus z, okay, so that's why, uh, then you can add the then you have to add and you have to multiply the inverse uh, constant lah. Okay, right? And then you get the answer. Yeah, and then uh, someone simplify it further. So I don't penalize it, but in, yeah, in theory it's not needed. Or it's not even correct, right? Because alpha is not a constant. It's not given constant lah, right? So you can just give it up to the gamma part. Okay, and this is... Uh, as I said, it's a technique where you have to integrate over PDF. So you have to recognize again the kernel and then add in the parameter. So become a PDF, all right? You have add and you have to divide whatever, and then you get the answer. Okay, yeah. Sorry, why is that alpha constant? What, sorry? Why is that alpha constant? Yeah, alpha yeah, sorry, yeah, constant, sorry, it's uh, integer, integer. Oh. <laughs> no, constant, sorry, yeah, Salah. Okay, it's an integer. So if it's integer, they become a factorial. But if it's not an integer, it's not a factorial. Yeah, that's what we meant. So that's not constant. Like it's a constant, but it's not an integer. Sorry, yeah. So if it's an integer, mm -hmm. you can you become a factorial, then you can simplify further. Lah. But because we don't, it's not written that alpha is an integer, then you can just leave it as a gamma function. Okay? Right. Yes. Which one? Uh, the first question, the Ah, uh, uh, wait, you mean? Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, typo. <laughs> Sorry, typo. I'll, I'll correct it. Yeah, it should be N, uh, N plus alpha plus one. Yeah, the Z one, the, the, the bottom one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, by, of course, I don't. Did it your answer, <laughs> right? So this one, yeah, I, I yeah, mm, basically copy paste wrongly. <laughs> uh, no. 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 This is your answer. So please refer refer to this refer to this video. Right, it's recorded. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Then there's uh, E. Okay. Right. That's the. That's the. Is there a, is there a, oh, okay, you can see it, okay, right, okay, so uh, stop there, okay, so anyway, right, so please reflect back on your solution, because you obviously, you, obviously you have your own solution, right, so you can reflect on it and compare it, and you should know why you get your own uh, result, <laughs> okay, and so my, my suggestion is you have to, uh, you know, Prepare, um, not prepare, sorry, do the exercise tutorials. You know, there's uh, multiple questions there. So please, please practice more, right? And you know, please get the, um, you know, the, the, well, you know, at least the tutorial, you no? Know? So you, at least you know your distribution, right? Okay, 
Oh, right. So we spend that time. All right. So now, okay. So the part where you have the programming. Okay. So may I not hear? Do you? Who is the one who is like a new student this semester? Is anyone here? A new student. I mean, yeah, you 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 just joined the the course the the, sorry, the program this semester. Maybe not here lah. Maybe online. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, or, or I think they have. Oh, I can hear the voice. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I can see your very handy. <laughs> okay. Right. So why I'm asking is because. Uh, next week, we we have the tutorial, right? But next week is the second assignment where you have to do some of the 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 implementation of the MCMC plus the coding, the coding. I mean the R program. Okay, so that's what I'm asking, and of course we have the. That's why I'm sharing you in in class today. I'm sharing you some of them, right? And also some for also next week. So, uh, so next week I'll give you the the assignment too, right? So this is an individual assignment. So you have to answer the question and then do the coding yourself. Okay. Wait. Am I sharing this? So you're sharing next week on on Thursday or? On Thursday. You have a week uh, up to Friday. Okay, so I give it's not a few days lah. I give you a week lah at least. Okay, and then um uh, and uh so so the, the week next week uh, I mean the week next week I so mean I give you tutorial next this week, but we're going to discuss it next week. But after that, there's no tutorial, so you can focus on your assignment. Hopefully, right? Focusing means you no know, doing it early and not asking me on Wednesday. Uh, how to do it? Okay, that's not focusing. Okay, <laughs> just a uh, uh, friendly uh, notice. <laughs> and not ask, oh, I mean not even asking me on Thursday at twelve o'clock, doctor. How can I answer this question? Uh, <laughs> okay, so just uh, try to do it. Okay. Uh, anyway, so next week I'll give you because I think we have to do the programming part first. So anyway. So for those, I think you might have used some of R in, I mean, in your other courses, right? I think Dr. Kang and Dr. Anissa will be using R. So anyway, but the problem, the, the thing with this R is you have to do it as a program. Okay, meaning that you want to combine it together and uh, you want to we want to execute it in the way such that you have a long, a few commands together and we want to combine it and want to execute it at the same time. Okay, All right. So when we do this, usually what happens is we can use the script window. Okay, and uh, right. And if you use, if you look at the introduction to R, there's a there's a section on that. Anyway, okay. So the basic part here is this part, right? Where you want to uh, have a name, a function, right? And then you input the argument there. So if you put a different argument, you will get different result out. I mean, different output lah, right? So for example, if I put, I put in a sum a plus b, my input is a and b, and I got my sum out one is different on my input. Okay, so this is very simple uh, function, right? And to when you compile it, you have different, right? You can you can write it in the script file and then you have to run it. And then when you compile it, you have to go to the console and type the name of the function with your input. Then you have the output. OK, so this is like uh, the basic, the most basic one. Right. Of course, it's that's not what you're going to do. <laughs> you will actually, OK, of course, this you can also get out the usually if you use the A, B or the print A, B, sometimes they, they don't give out the result, right? So you can use the list. If you use the list, and they give they will give you the result for A and B together. Because sometimes they have problems like that. I don't know for R. So anyway, so that's a 
basic one, but for our case, because if you remember, right, we have our right. If you, if sorry, you, if 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 you as an alpha, we accept, or you because alpha, we reject, right? So we're going to have a if else, a lot of if else statement, and because we're going to do iterations over n iterations, then we will have to use the loop, the looping of the the looping, okay? So, for example, if you want to have a condition, then you can use the if else function, right? And if you see here, you have the condition, meaning that if the condition, if the first condition is fulfilled, then you fulfill the condition and you stop, right? So if the first one is not fulfilled, then you go to the second one and you check, right? So this one means that you can have uh, several condition, right? And by default, by default, if all the conditions are not fulfilled, then the last one will be will be fulfilled, right? If you put else function, but if you put else if also at the end, then if not none of our none are fulfilled, then they just don't do anything now, right? Okay, right. For example, if you have the function, if I say x is equal to one, right, and then if s x equals to two, or if if not one or two, then what is y? So I know you can actually, and if you have a string, usually if you string, then you have a double thing like this, right? This means it's a string. Okay, it's not a number, it's a string value. Okay, that's why we have a A inverted, B inverted. So it's a string value. Okay. Right, and uh, when you do this uh, comparison, you must have a... Uh, and this is called logical result. Logical means it must be true or false. If something is true, you do it. If it's false, go, go to the next line. Uh, so when you do a, if else, it must be a logical expression. You just have zero one, I guess, right? So when you do logical, it must be true or false. So you must have the comparison part. So it could be you no know, less, greater, equal, or uh, not equal, and so on. Okay, so you can see the example, right? If not equal to numeric or if missing less than whatever, or if S equal to M, whatever. So you can actually do a lot of things with the comparison part. Okay, but you must use this uh, function. You must use this function. This is, uh, I, I think this is similar to any other programming language. I think if you use T or C++, they have the similar things, right? Even uh, for trying whatever. So this is similar in the comparison part, right? Uh, it's just that I think uh, how they write the this part might be different. What well, I mean different is because of the if is in the round bracket and the condition sorry and the thing is in the curly bracket. So this part this part you know this this uh, way might be different according to the language. So in R is if they have the comparison in the bracket and then the whatever you have to execute is in the curly bracket. Okay, like this, right? This example. Okay, so we need that if something is true, then you do it. If not, you go to the next one and go and then the next until the end. Okay, then you have the comparison part, which is the if else. All right, and the okay, this is just example. I mean you can look at it or you can do it yourself. Right. Okay. And the last one is the for loop, right? The for loop is for, for i. Okay, for i is integer to integer, meaning the first integer is the starting value. The last one is the, your end value. For example, you want to find the sum of i from 1 to 50. Then for i to 1 to n. So here n is, you can change your n, right? n is your input. Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't have a, all right. Okay, and... Uh, Apart from apart from four, there's also the while loop, while loop, right? So you can also have a. Oh, I have to switch on my camera. No one, <laughs> right? We have the while loop, right? So if if while loop means that if something is happening, you can just uh, go with your while loop. Okay, so this is a very short introduction. Okay. Oh, I don't know why people like to open the door. I guess. Less than uh, more ventilation so that there's <laughs> bacteria. <laughs> okay, anyway, all right. 
So anyway, okay. So this is just a short. Okay, if you haven't done it, then you can try it later on your own, right? So the aim here is to see that um, we can actually combine all these together and make a longer program. Okay, right. So right. So then, if you open your exercise one, okay. There are several programs in here. Okay, there are several programs in here. Um, it's a metropolis testing and also there is the git sampler. Right, so for the first one, if you look at example 5.3, right, so we have, uh, we want to sample from normal with mean mu and sigma p. Okay, right. Uh, Maybe I should open the example first. Okay, five point three. I think maybe it's five point three. It should be your MC MC file. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. Okay, so here. You can see right that in the example, the mean is zero and the range is one, but you can actually just, just, just put it a normal mu p, right? I mean, sorry, mu sigma square. So you can actually change your mean and variance. Okay. And here, uh, if you look at this distribution, because you're using a normal proposal, it's going to be a symmetric proposal, right? So if you have a symmetric proposal, it means that the Alpha is going to be just the just the well, posterior or just the target distribution only. Okay, you can simplify like this, right? And um, okay, so this is when you, if you have a uh, mean is zero one, okay, right? Uh, let me see. Okay, all right. So here, uh, if you want to. So if, if you want to put your mu mu p and sigma p square or sigma p, uh, wait, sigma p, okay, sigma p is actually your variance, right? Your mu p and sigma p is your variance. So you can put your mu p and sigma p as zero and one. Okay, right. So uh, this one, okay, the point here is at each step you have to click on the R console and press enter. Okay, so what happened here is, okay, before we try in, in R, okay, you can see, right, the aim here is first, you have the name or the, the name of the, the function, and this is the, the input, right? We have the starting, you have the end, we have the, the sigma, sigma q is the proposal, and then you have the mu, the mean, and the mu p, and the sigma p is the mean and variance of the target. Okay, right. The aim here is okay, the first part here is you have to you have to actually have a vector for theta, right? For, okay, why do we need a vector? Because we have to you want to store the values of your theta, right? So you have to initialize your theta as a vector. Right, so it's a n a vector of n, right? And then you start here, right? And then you, if you want to count the number of accepted proposal, you put except is zero. Okay, so the, the plot part, so, I mean, you can. Oh, this one is actually for plotting. Okay, 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 right. Okay, what what is the point at the top here? Okay, the, the point at the top here is just the. Okay, when you try the program later, it's just to. This is actually a visual, visualization. You want to show you step by step, right? So they just give you something to plot, and then you want to add something to the plot, okay? Right. So this is all the plotting, okay? But the actual thingy, right? So you can see here, right? First, you have the the loop, right? This is where you have the loop. Then you start from one, okay? So one is your initial value, okay? So for in R, zero. There's no t zero, huh? There's no there's no vector at zero. So it's 
So if you start your, your looping, you must start at two because your initial value is at one. They don't have zero. They don't have T zero. Okay, because the vector, uh, there's no location for, because remember in computer, right, there's a location. So there's no location for zero. Okay, so your, ve your vector is at one. So your initial value is at one. So your looping is at two. Uh, that's why it's, it's, it's at two. All right, and then you have to pick a candidate value from normal theta t minus one sigma q. Q is this, so this is your proposal. Huh? This is your proposal. So here, because we are using R, you can actually use function, uh, inbuilt function from R, right? For example, you want to generate from normal, you can just use R norm, no problem. I don't expect you to write your own program <laughs> to, generate, to, to generate from normal. Huh? So you can use uh, R norm here, right? And then the mean here is the previous theta plus the, okay, for, okay, for, okay, for the thing here, with function in R, we have to be careful with the input in R. Because input in R, the R norm uses the standard deviation, not the variance. Ah, okay. So if you have R norm, if you have the R norm in R, it will be the number of variate, the mean, and the standard deviation, not the variance. So if you want to use R norm, you have to put value of the deviation and not the variance. That's why if you your sigma Q here is your variance, it should be square root of your sigma square because R norm uses a standard deviation, right? So when you use the intel function in R, I think also for gamma, exponential, things like that, you have to be careful because uh, the function might be different from the, our, the, the operating that you're using. So you have, you have to check that, right? You have to check that before using it. Okay, so anyway, this is your theta t. So this is actually uh, your proposal. So if you see over here, right, this is actually this part, this one. All right, this is actually proposed for theta from normal from the mean is theta t minus one and the variance is sigma square. Okay, so this is uh, the proposed part. This is the proposed part. So you actually propose here, your, this is a mean, this is the standard deviation, right? Not the variance. Okay, and then to calculate for your acceptance, acceptance one part here is, you have to generate your U, your U from uniform zero one, right? Where is this? Yeah. U from uniform zero one. So this is where you have R unif, and R unif is from uniform. So by default, R unif will be zero one. So you don't have to write it zero one, but if you want, also can. It's not wrong. But by default, the R unif will give you uniform zero one. Okay, and then this is where you calculate the acceptance from the alpha. So R is your alpha actually. Uh, because okay, alpha, they don't have to letter in R. <laughs> So unless you want to put A L P H A also can, but it's just long. <laughs> so you know when you do the programming, we like it to be A B R uh, shorter lah. We mean make it easier to. But if you want to put alpha also, okay, no problem. Okay, anyway, R is your alpha, and this is because your alpha here you can see is actually the the this is the PDF of sorry sorry not PDF. Uh, is this the PDF or the density of a normal? Right, density of a normal with uh, okay, this one is density of normal with your mean is your mu p and your variance is your sigma c q as you p, sorry, right? So, this is density of your target, okay? And then after you simplify, you can also, you get this, right? So, if you want to write this equation itself by itself, also can, it's not wrong, okay? So, you want to you want to write ESP exponential one over theta. This this is it. Why this is not wrong? Or right? Or you can actually use the density of the normal, the D norm function, right? So again, I say that you have your theta star mu and sigma p. Wait, the density should be the same. It should be square root also. I think. All right. But anyway. Uh, I think this the denom, this one should be also square root, huh? square root of the sigma. 
But here, because in the example, it's one. So that's why it's not wrong. But if you do it yourself, you have to change your square root. Uh, square root of sigma p, square root of sigma, uh, sigma p, all right, over here. So remember, what sigma p is the is your target. Sigma q is your proposal. Okay, so anyway, this is the density function for the normal. Or if you want to write your equation itself, but in this one also can, it's not wrong. Okay, so either one, uh, but if you are a uh, um, true programmer, you would write this one because this is actually a simpler function, right? Because when you, when you calculate the norm, they, they actually have a longer function, right? You have your pi, one over two pi, blah, 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 sigma, whatever, right? Yeah. So if you simplify it, you will write this function, right? But if you use the denom also not wrong, okay? Because this is normal. Uh, this is not very uh, complicated function, it's okay. Okay, then, right? And then this one is the mean, right? The minimum with the uh, alpha and one, uh, sorry, R, uh, I see. Okay, R, R is not your alpha, sorry. R, R is just the function. R is just the function, the, the ratio function. So A is your alpha, okay. Meaning that the R, the R is just, just this function, right? The R is the function, the, the ratio. The A is your alpha, okay? Then you have your, if you, if your uniform is less than your A, then we accept. Okay, so it's here, we accept here. Then your new theta is your proposed theta, right? And then we say here, accept, okay, what is this? Accept plus accept, accept one. This is, you, you start with accept is equals to zero. Then you want to count how many accepted value, right? right? Then you put accept equal to accept plus one. Because you want to do a looping, you want to, uh, every time they have a new acceptance, they add one, right? Okay, or if they reject, this is rejection, right? If you reject, then the new value is the same as the old value. Then the theta t equals to theta t minus one. Okay, so this is part where they want to have, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, so basically whatever you can try, this is all the, how they want to get a nice graphic out. <laughs> okay, so if you try it, maybe you haven't. So anyway, so we can, we can try it. Okay, we can try in R. Right, so I have to open the R first. Okay, so you can try your own. You can also try it. Very sharp window. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you can try your R. Okay, so what happened here is, I mean, if you if you use your R, uh, you are good with R, so you don't really need this, but at your body's equation. Oh, no. Okay. okay, so if you try it yourself, then should be this. Oh, I need to share the screen first. Right, so if you, I think this should be the one. Let me see, select all. Okay. Oh, no, okay, maybe I missed something. Okay. Let me see. I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I missed the, the, the title of the function. So if you copy from the PDF, right? Just be careful. Sometimes you get weird things there. 
I think I missed something, did I? Okay. Oh, okay, there's something. Okay. There's something going now. I think I missed something. It's okay. Oh, okay. Ah, all right. Okay, so no, no, okay, after you run it, wait. Uh, la, 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 la. If you see this, right, you have to, you have to run this command. You have to run this command to actually run it. I mean, run it, run it, I mean, here on the console. This part. Okay, so when you, okay, when you run the program, right, it's just running, it's just compiling, but you have to run it, you have to call the name of the function and then the input, right? So then you have, okay, so then you have this, right? Then this, this is what I say, right? That all that thing is actually to make this graph actually. Ah, yeah, all the extra, extra line to, to make this nice graph. And okay, what happened here is press enter, press enter, huh? press enter, ah, then they give you a graph, then it's like, oh, this is the showing the movement of the steps. So we start at, we start at one, right? And then you update to, you, you propose another value and then you go down to zero or something close to zero and then there's another proposal there's a t and then you have you move the you move the value so it's like no it's a graphic la ha, graphic if you press enter 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 for oh, this i think oh they okay enter then they Last one they keep rejecting for some reason. Uh, okay, all right. One thing, ah, uh, uh, okay. One thing I forgot to say. Uh, because this is randomly, so if you don't use the same seat as me, you get different answer. Okay, let let us decide on the same seat, lah. Uh, say set seat. Uh, not one, lah. Uh, set seat one, two, three, lah. One, two, three, four. Okay. So when you do the random sampling, right? Usually, if you don't use as the same the seat as me, then you get different answer right for example i use set c one two three four lah for example right <laughs> one two three four huh? one two three four then run this again oh i think the problem with this is is a uh, p okay Okay, so if I use one, two, three, four, then I got accept, then reject, then it will accept, 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 accept. Okay, right. Okay, so then you get similar la, as me, right? So you can get you no know, some movement there. If you use the set the set the same set dot seat number, which is one two three four, right? So every time you want to see the movement, you have to press enter. The the one that copy. You might have problem copying. Maybe I should yeah. If you copy from the PDF, you have to be careful lah, because the, the thing does not copy, maybe. Right, so remember, you have to put the all the function and the initial value. Well, I use that seat one, two, three, four lah. Then you should get same. Any, anyone have problem? Still copying. <laughs> Copy, still copying. All right. 
So if you copy from the PDF, right, just copy up to from the part A1 up to this one, right? Yeah, I put dash 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 dash. Uh, I mean, only part, only part, part A lah. Okay, only part A. I'm using the basic R, right? The basic. I'm using the basic R here. So maybe, so maybe, ah, uh, I have to give you the. It's not in PDF lah, patutnya. Okay, wait ah. Uh, if I think it should be the one. T minus one ka. Ni 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 kot ni kot ni kan ni. Is it this one? Yeah. Ah, ni 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 ni. This one. I think when you copy from PDF, they become something. When you copy from PDF, become something else. So this this part this part. T minus T minus one. Okay, your T minus one. Yeah. The hilang the 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 score over here. The 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 score. Oh, it's some two. Oh, okay. All right. Huh? What's the, what's the correction? The correction here is your program might be missing. Uh, this, this might be an error in your program. If you copy from PDF. Okay, if you copy from PDF, it might be a problem. Okay, so you have to look up in your R program. This part is the, okay, because I didn't copy from, at least this part, the denom, this one. Uh, it, it might be an error because when you copy from PDF, sometimes we become an underscore, something else, uh, weird, something weird. <laughs> okay, so just make sure you know, this part, this part is T minus one. Okay, then might be your 
Okay. Dah jumpa lah, ada lah. function remember ah uh, put here put the square root here ah uh. square root square root ah uh. i think this should be square root square root because ah uh, this is square root ah uh. because it's is a linear function in r is a square root uh, it's a sorry it's a standard deviation so don't forget to change this to a square root then we can use if you can change the variance right? the, you can change the mean and variance of your target distribution okay and your proposal lah, right this put square root here square root. okay all right so oh, before we stop okay so going back to the long one okay so if you see this one okay this one is like play play around lah. <laughs> right you have the visual blah 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 but I don't expect you to, to know this because the more important part here is the second part, the B1. The B1 is the one that you have to know. Uh, the B1 is the part where is your this one. Yeah. The B1, right? So if you see here, the B part can. So the, the, the one that we just showed just now is like play play around lah, lah, lah nice visual. <laughs> right? But the, the lagi serious punya tu is actually this part. So this is where you know you have to do it for 5,000 iteration. Oh, okay. And remember this a, this a bracket. Yo, this, this, this a bracket, close bracket here. Right? Okay, so you can change uh, you can change the number of iteration and you can change the variance and uh, you know, the mean. All right. Okay, so you can see here. All right, if you get rid of, okay, you can see it's short, right? You get rid of all the plotting, right? It's only you start off, it's the same, you start and then you start, you go straight to here, right? And then you have the, the proposal, you have your R, you have your A. Right, and then you just so uh, that's it, right? And then you you accept or you reject, okay? And then to plot, right? You can plot the some, for example, you can plot the MCMC. I think that's the oh, the plot MCMC is actually the program under here. This is the plot MCMC program, right? So you can uh. You can actually uh, choose your boy in how many boy in you want to do, right? And then you can plot uh, some a lot of stuff, okay? Auto correlation, blah blah blah, whatever lah, right? So there's a few plots there, okay? So you can actually try that, and uh, so 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 right without the plot, without the without the graph just now 
this is this is only it. This is it. Yeah, the, the simplest part, right? You have the the simplest part would be you have the proposal. So you have you know what you have the initial initial value. You have the proposal. You have the accepted agent. Accepted accept. That's it. For oh, Hesha. Okay, so that's that's the main body. Then after you collect all the value of the theta, or you collect all the value of the theta, then you can use it to find the mean, ke, you want to find the uh, estimation, sorry, the expected value, ke, you want to plot, ke, then you can keep the value and then you can do it, right? And then, of course, remember, right, uh, that you need to have a burn-in. But of course, this one because it's normal and it's normal also, so we don't really need burn-in, but, but in the real, if you use a different distribution, right, you have to have a burn-in. Uh, Okay, right. Oh, seven. So for now, you we have a breakfast, right? And uh, praying, right? And then those who are not praying, you can try. <laughs> you can try this, right? So I'll see you uh, at eight. Okay, I'll see you at eight p.m. Then. Uh, Thank you.